So I've already put my red royal gel onto this nail so I'm ready to start my design. So I'm using the white royal gel number R06 from Crystal Nails and my Barbara 2 brush to start to create my design. With the Barbara brush if you want in a thicker area just press down and then you'll use the slightly thicker part of the brush and then when you want in a thinner area just lift your brush up slightly and that's when you'll use the thin part of the brush. So I'm just creating the bow now with the ribbons first. Make sure that you've got plenty of gel on your brush. And this is a tack free gel. So once it's been in the lamp and cured there's no sticky layer to it. So it's perfect for this uh, sand type effect. I'll start creating the actual bow now and then if I need to pull my ribbons in a little bit later then I can do. You've got plenty of time to work with this gel, obviously it's not going to set until it goes into the lamp so you can take as long as you want to create your design. When you're trying to create curves like the edges of the bows, keep your brush up at a quite a high angle, like a 90 degree angle, and that way you'll be able to create those curves a bit easier. So now I'm just making sure that my ribbons come right into my bow, and there's no gaps. But again, if you're wanting that nice thin line, make sure that you lift your brush up. The Barbara 2 brush is a natural hair brush, so it's very easy to use. It has got a really thin hair right on the end. And that is meant to be there, so don't cut it off. That's what gives you those really nice fine lines. I'm just going to put some extra lines just in this bottom right hand corner because I feel like there's something missing there. So when you're happy with your design, you're then going to get your mermaid glitter and I'm using number three which is one of the fine ones. Number one and four are slightly chunkier but only very slightly and number two and three are your really fine ones. And then I'm just going to use my cuticle pusher just to pick that glitter up and place it over the top of your gel. And Obviously it's a wet gel so it's going to stick to it. Do it over the top of your mermaid glitter pot and then any excess that you drop is just going to go straight back into your pot. Or do it over the top of a piece of folded paper and then you can pop it back into your pot after that. Make sure that you've got a good full coverage. And then just tap off your excess. and that's ready to go into the lamp then 30 seconds for LED. Once it's been in the lamp literally just dust off your excess glitter because that gel's now set and cured and that's that nail done.